Obama's secret agent just infiltrated WH while Trump's out, has chilling plan to take over homeland security. For the past eight years, Barack Hussein Obama worked tirelessly to take down America, as he alienated our allies and emboldened our enemies. While we all hoped this traitor would drive his golf cart into the sunset never to be seen again, that's sadly not the case, as he continues to obsess with ways to take Trump out by constantly trolling him with his shadow government and putting his little spies in the White House. Now it appears as though another Obama operative has managed to dupe Trump into a job, after the disturbing information that was just leaked about the person President Trump just picked to take over Homeland Security. Muslims understand fully that to take down our country that they must infiltrate every single facet of our government. Obama worked tirelessly towards this goal, where he placed an ISIS-supporting Muslim terrorist by the name of Mohammed al Libiri in charge of homeland security back in 2014. The Muslim terrorist was let go a short time later, amid allegations of a cover-up, and due to massive outrage on the behalf of Americans. Mohammed al Libiri and Barack Hussein Obama A Department of Homeland Security DHS, adviser long engulfed in controversy over his radical views was let go from his role in the department last week after a long fight by lawmakers and others to revoke the individual's privileges at DHS, Free Beacon reported. Fast forward to Trump's presidency, and Obama is still trying to implant his spies. Back in May, one of Obama's Muslims successfully got into Trump's administration. Trump's deputy national security adviser Dina Habib Powell was discovered to not only be a Muslim, but good buddies with both Hillary, and Obama's former Iranian Muslim Brotherhood adviser, terrorist, Valerie Jarrett as well. Got news reported, Dina Powell is frequently referred to as the Republican Huma Aden and is a member of Hillary Clinton's Vital Voices. Powell is a good friend of Huma Aden, who worked with her husband at the Clinton-linked consultancy Tenio. Powell also has connections to Obama's confidant Valerie Jarrett. After this near catastrophe, you'd think President Trump would vet his new staff members more closely. Now it appears as though another Obama spy has managed to infiltrate the Trump administration, after disturbing information was just leaked about Trump's current choice for head of Homeland Security, who we're learning is nothing more than a bleeding heart lunatic liberal who loves Muslims just as much as Hussein Obama. Briet Bart reported on Kurs Janielsen's goal for flooding Europe with Muslim refugees, that's as just as ridiculous and unsettling as her orange spray tan. According to Briet Bart, President Donald Trump's nominee to head the Department of Homeland Security led a business dominated committee at the World Economic Forum which insisted that Europe had no choice but to accept a huge wave of unskilled migrants from poor, conflict tracked countries. The key policy issue confronting Europe is not whether to accept forced migrants but rather how to turn the associated challenges into opportunities, said the 2016 report by Kurs Nielsen's committee, titled Global Agenda Council on Risk and Resilience. The business leaders, political advocates, and bureaucrats in Nielsen's group recommended that security risks and economic turmoil be pushed aside to focus primarily on the benefits of cheap labor. Reframing the discourse surrounding refugees from one of risk to one that recognizes the substantial social and economic contribution they can make to their host societies is increasingly important in light of the current large-scale influx of migrants into Europe, the report urged. Nielsen's background and her role on the committee give no indication that she supports Trump's by American, higher American economic nationalist and civic agenda. Why would she be put in charge of homeland security? Numbers USA's Rosemary Jenks asked Briet Bar News. A lot of Kirsten Nielsen's background, including her position in this report, indicates clearly she doesn't support Trump's immigration agenda, Jenks said. The members of Nielsen's committee is a long list of globalist executives, all of whom gained from the continued flow of cheap, foreign workers and welfare aided, consumer migrants into the US and Europe. If we wanted our government infiltrated with Muslim lovers, we would have just elected Hillary Clinton, who made it her stated goal to flood Europe and America with millions of Muslims during her first term alone. Seriously what's going on inside Trump's administration? What are Kirsten Nielsen's goals for resettling Muslims into America?
Is it just as drastic as her stated plans for Europe? How many more of Obama's agents will continue to infiltrate the Trump administration?